my philosophy with all injuries, infections, illnesses is that suffering is optional when it comes to the part of the practice that brings us to our mat. So when there is something that is troubling you for any reason, be it physical, emotional, or energetic, you know when it's time, you know intuitively if you need to stand in that discomfort to bring yourself to a place of strength where you're able to face that sort of discomfort with relative ease. But that's different. That's usually emotional. If it's purely physical, don't let it happen. Change it modify even if it means that your pose doesn't look like you think it should or like someone else's none of us should look the same doing anything we're all way too different and if you're not feeling something for any reason skip it it's your practice and it should bring joy at almost any cost that's my rant for tonight <laughs> I know most of you are very well grounded and founded in your practice and know what you're doing. Sometimes it just helps to have a reminder, it does for me, to take yourself off the hook. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice. If there's anything at all that you need that you can possibly think of, to make yourself feel more welcome in your practice. Go ahead and get it, do it. Change the music, the lighting, grab your water, put your socks on or take them off. And only as you're ready, make your way onto your mat. And even as you move to your space for practice, start to deepen your breaths. Start to do everything a little more consciously. For me, that often means really drawing the breath in through my nostrils and pressing it back out again as if each inhalation and exhalation were totally my choice. Take a good look around your space. At the things that you love, that you've brought into your home. Maybe at something beautiful you've got any fresh flowers, a cat, a book, even your mat. Just to cover any mystery, satiate any curiosity about what's happening around you. So that when you close your eyes, if you choose to, you can really drop out of that external space through the mind into the body. Now whatever seated position you've landed in, I invite you to place your palms down on your knees, the fingers gently wrapping over the edges of them. Tip of the thumb unites with the tip of the forefinger in Jhana Mudra for grounding. And then you might begin to notice that the breath seems to rise from the ground up into you. Perhaps you can visualize the inhalation unrolling, unfurling, expanding through the belly. And 
And as the exhalation happens, the lower abdomen gently draws in toward the spine. That would be the lower lumbar, the sacral vertebrae, as if squeezing the breath back out the way it entered. Now send the awareness down into your roots. And draw the inhalation up back through that space, the lower part of you, into the chest. Feel the rib cage expand as the lungs fully fill. In all directions, not just the front, but around the sides to the back. And the entire trunk contracts. Squeezes in, hugs your central axis as the exhalation escapes the body. Now behind the closed lids, where the open eyes are fine, lower the gaze way down as if you could see through the surface of the earth upon which you sit, down into the roots, a little deeper than last time. Let yourself be fully anchored. Follow the inhale up through the lower part of you. Feel yourself sit up a little taller as the upper body expands with breath. The still, that yogic gaze, the internal drishti following. This one inhalation through the head reaches the crown and lifts it a little bit higher. Feels as though the neck lengthens. The entire body just dangles from the skull. Somehow decompressing, even in your seated position. Empty of breath, pause for just a beat. Allow the inhale to fill you from bottom to top. Maybe gently press into the hands to encourage that upward motion, the pranavayu. If you'd like, roll your shoulders back. You can even lift the chin. Now a little more dynamic, exhale through the mouth. If you've lifted the chin and you want to, draw it in toward the chest. Roll the shoulders forward, let the spine round a little, kind of like you're protecting the heart. And with your next inhale, rise up. Roll the shoulders back, send the heart forward, turn the face up if your neck feels okay. And with the exhale, Chase the breath out by rolling over it as deeply as feels nice. Sometimes it's a little painful in the upper back if you've been crunched, seated all day. Now the inhale rises, lifting, expanding you into your seated cow pose. As much of an arch in the spine as feels good, you can use a little pull on the hands, elbows drawing in to further it. And as exaggerated as an exhalation, a rounding of the spine as you like, you can even send the forehead down toward your mat. Again like that with your inhale, let yourself be filled. Just noticing what happens if you pull on the hands versus press. If you work with the gaze, whether the eyes are open or closed. As the exhale goes, Curl down over it. And with your next inhale, straighten up. Reach up. Unite the palms in the sky above the head. As you exhale, squeeze the elbows down toward the sides. Draw the blades together behind you. A little warmth for the rhomboids. And with your inhale, reach right back up. Spine straightens up. Exhale, and we'll lower, right hand to the mat beside you. 
Lean into it as the left arm reaches overhead. Pause here for an inhalation. Now you can simultaneously press into the right hand as you reach a little further through the left to get that really sweet lateral opening. Exhale, and you might melt a little lower. As you inhale, cartwheel left, right. Drop the left hand to the left, and with the exhale, sweep the right arm up overhead. Already pressing into the grounded palm to keep the right sit bone rooted. Inhale, and you might be able to reach a little further through the right fingertips. Exhale, and you might sink a little closer to the earth with that left elbow. As you inhale, cartwheel up. Drop the right hand behind you. Take the left hand to the right knee. And with the exhale, let's twist. Now pause here for that inhalation that rolls upward, simultaneously expanding in all directions. Through parted lips, let the exhale go. Let the shoulders soften, the abdominal wall disengage, maybe your twist deepens. One more breath in. And a complete breath out. As you inhale, turn the gaze forward. All right, with the exhale, just swing that right arm to the front, across the body. Left elbow scoops it up for the shoulder stretch. Good. As you inhale, you can press that right arm forward a bit, like you're making space for the breath to fill. And with the exhale, you might tighten your grip, might squeeze in a little further. One more deep breath in. And with the exhale, release into your twist to the left. So the right hand just dips down to the knee beneath it. Left fingers behind you for balance. The inhale rises, lifting you a little taller right where you sit. With the exhale, your twist can deepen if you want it to, if it needs to. Now breathe in as if this one breath was the only thing going on, the most interesting sound you feel. Exhale. And with your inhale, turn the gaze forward. As you exhale, sweep that left arm forward, right, scoops it up. With the inhale, pulse open a little bit. And with the exhale, squeeze back just a touch. One more inhale. And with the exhale, release both hands to the earth in front of you. Make your way into tabletop position. Super slowly, each motion, precious, noticed. Each breath, the most beautiful thing you hear or feel. One more round of breath. As you make your way into this posture, maybe treating it like you've never done it before, even though you've done it a zillion times. Find your way to a point of balance between the right and left physical sides, between the solar and lunar energies. And then pause. The hands, knees, and tops of the feet press the earth away. Spread your toes so that each one touches the mat. Inhale. Now open your mouth like you're cleaning your glasses. Ha! <sighs> the exhale away. And with your very next inhale, eyes open or closed. Dip into your first cow pose. <laughs> As you exhale, curl into cat. Tucking chin to chest, tailbone under. And with your inhale, dive back into the arch of cow pose. 
Squeeze the blades together behind you. Get that little bit of rhomboid action in. And as you curl into cat with your exhale, open up that same space. Now the crown is pointed toward the earth. Lead with it as you inhale back into cow pose. Send the shoulders out over the fingertips if you'd like out a sway side to side. Let the wrists start to warm. And with your exhale, sway your way back into cat pose, sending the hips almost to the heels so that you can lift onto the fingertips, alleviating that pressure in the wrist. As you inhale, dip back into cow pose. Maybe you add a circle of the head in one direction or the other. And with the exhale, you curl into cat, maybe circling the hips. Let's go two more rounds on your breath. Traditional linear cat cows, or you might add some wild action, some sways, some lifts onto the fingertips. Now keep doing what you're doing, or come with me for just a little core. Inhaling, the right arm moves forward, left leg back. With the exhale, you can crunch elbow to knee beneath the body, same cat rounding in the spine. Inhale to extend just once more, spread your fingers and toes. With the exhale, cat pose. Drag left knee, right hand to the earth as the spine rounds. And with your inhale, we'll dip into relative cow pose. Send the left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale into cat pose. One more, inhale, cow pose. Deepest arch yet. And with the exhale, press heart down to the earth between the thumbs. Inhale, and we'll glide into a little baby cobra pose. With the exhale, lower down to earth. Slide the left arm out to the left so it's parallel with the top edge of the mat. Inhale and the right leg lifts, just hovering. With the exhale, roll onto your left side. Right leg can hover or the toes can tap the earth. We'll stay here for an inhale. You can press into the right fingertips if you need a little more opening in the left shoulder or pectoralis muscle there. Exhale. Next inhale, we're slowly rolling back to the center. Right leg straightens out alongside left. Left hand comes back onto the mat to mirror the right and we lift the heart for cobra pose. As you exhale, lower down. The forehead meets the mat, the right arm slides out to the right. And with the inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, and we roll onto the right side. You choose what to do with your left leg. Deep breath in, maybe a little help from the left hand. Slow breath out. And with your inhale, slowly make your way back into Bhujangasana. Exhale, and we melt down to earth, palms flatten beside the heart. Inhale, tabletop, tuck your toes, keep your knees grounded. As you exhale, press back into child's pose. Chin to chest so the forehead can rest on the earth if that feels good to you. For just one cycle of breath, now press down into the thumb side of the hand. The strong side of the wrist might feel nice to gently wag your tail, hips cruise right to left. Next inhale, a graceful rise into tabletop, bring the knees to hover off the mat. And with the exhale, downward facing dog. The hips lift, the head goes heavy. Inhale, up onto your toes. As you exhale, drop the heels over to the right. 
Inhale and we'll center up. Lift the right leg in your mount from toes hovering off the mat to lay in the sky. As you exhale, we'll take a deep curtsy. So you'll start to bend the left knee as you tap the right toes behind you off the left edge of the mat. Let's stay for an inhale, pressing into the balls of both feet, into both hands, each finger. Exhale. As you inhale, just drag the right toes back into downward facing dog. So hips width distance from the left. Exhale, right hand reaches back for the left ankle. You can bend the left knee, just a little twist. Inhale, down dog, both hands forward, rise up onto your toes, give your head a little wiggle, let it be heavy. And with the exhale, press, heels down to the left. Inhale as your smooth cruise through down dog, left leg rises. Exhale into your curtsy, left toes tap behind off the right edge of the mat. Here, breathe in, press into the hands. Breathe out, maybe the heels come a little closer to the earth. Inhale, the left foot drags back into down dog. And with the exhale, left hand reaches back for the right ankle. Inhale, down dog, lift up onto your toes. With the exhale, drop your heels to the right. Bend the knees this time if you'd like to take it a little lower. Inhale, down dog, right leg lifts. As you exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. If you'd like a deeper arch, gaze over your left shoulder, your foot in the sky. With your inhale, rotate that foot. As you exhale, let's slide into a modified plank, drawing the bent right knee toward the right elbow. Inhale, back up to your three-legged dog. Right knee can be straight or bent. With the exhale, step the right foot forward off the right edge of the mat. So both hands are to the inside of the foot. As you inhale, lower the left knee. Now we're going to move a little, but feel free to stop anywhere that feels good or that needs some attention. If you want to move with the exhale, press into the hands, draw the hips back, straighten the right knee for a modified half split. And here you're welcome to stay, or with the inhale, move back into your lunge, just keeping the hands where they are, about in line with the right heel. Exhale, and again, we'll pull back into that half split if you're moving. And if you're still at it, inhale forward once again. One more round or pause as you wish. Exhale is an option to pull back. Inhale and the right knee rebends. Left knee lifts this time. Right arm reaches up to the sky. As you exhale, right hand to the mat. Right foot meets left and plank pose. Inhale, press the earth away. With the exhale, roll to the baby toe blade of the right foot. Let the right hip melt down toward the mat. No form at all. Just going for a release through that right side. It should feel nice. With your inhale, lift back into plank pose. Might feel good to sway the heels right to left. With the exhale, sway all the way onto the baby toe blade of the left foot. Let the left hip melt toward the earth. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees. Heart and chin toward the earth. Inhale, cobra. With the exhale, slowly lower, gently pulling on the hands as you make your way to the mat. Now here, you can keep the hands as they are, or you can reach them back alongside the body for a locust pose. Inhale into a second cobra or a half locust, lifting arms, chest, and head. 
Exhale, and we'll all lower down to earth. Inhale for one more cobra or another half locust where we'll stay for an exhalation. It's okay if you dip a little, but with the inhale, see if you can lift a little higher. If you're in half shalabhasana, lift the legs if you'd like to make it a full. And with the exhale, lower everything. Drop the hands to the mat and line with the heart. Inhale for tabletop. Tuck your toes. Exhale into child's pose. One deep breath in. Slow breath out. Press into the balls of the feet for the release through the plantar fascia. And with the inhale, lift into your hovering tabletop. As you exhale, slide up into down dog, let your head go heavy, and inhale up onto your toes. Exhaling, heels drop to the left. Bend the knees if you'd like. Inhale as down dog, left leg lifts, press through your big toe. With the exhale, bend the knee if you'd like. Check out the gaze over your right shoulder. One inhale, one circle of that ankle. With the exhale, your modified plank, left knee toward left elbow, hips stay pretty high. Inhale to your three-legged dog, head gets really heavy. Exhale, step to the pinky finger side of the left hand. As you inhale, let the right knee sink to the mat. Exhale, and you're welcome to pull back into that runner's lunge. Maybe you let your chin fall toward your chest. Feel free to stay, or with the inhale, cruise forward. Use the hands to help. Lift through the heart if you're coming. And with the exhale, you can press back again. Drawing left hip back in line with right. And inhale fills you. It might draw you forward. Exhale, and you'll pull back once more if you've chosen motion. Wherever you are, next inhale, bend the left knee, lift the right, left fingers to the sky. Exhale into plank pose. Feel every bit of this simple transition. Inhale, power in your plank. With the exhale, roll to the baby toe blade of the left foot. You can melt the hips or keep them high. With the inhale, you've got the option to peel the right fingers up for a side plank. If you have, with the exhale, press them back down to earth where we'll pause for an inhale. As you exhale, roll to the right. Inhale is your optional vashisthasana, left fingers up. Exhale into plank pose, take it slow. As you inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. Exhaling, you can lower knees, chest and chin, or just the knees. Elbows bend no more than 90 for a half chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose, elbows in, shoulders low. Exhale in the belly, heart and head meet the mat. Two more cobras, or you can reach the arms back. Option to interlace the hands of the sacrum. And an inhale to rise. Nubhujangasana or Shalabhasana. With the exhale, lower. And prepare for one more. Cobra, locust, or bow pose by bending the knees and clasping the ankles. With the inhale, we'll lift into your chosen heart opener. Stay for an exhale. One more inhale. Let the breath lift the heart a little higher if it feels right. And with that exhale, slowly lower. Hands align with the heart. Forehead presses into the mat. Inhale and we'll lift in the tabletop. Soft gaze if the eyes are open. Tuck your toes. And with the exhale, press into child's just to pick up that length through the arms, down the back. Breathe in. And out. 
Inhale, tabletop, knees lift. Exhale, down dog. Give your head a little wobble. Inhale. And with that exhale, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Feet still hips with distance as in down dog. As you inhale, lift the spine to about parallel with the earth. If you want, reach the arms out to the sides like wings. And with the exhale, bow. Sweep fingertips across the mat to clasp opposite elbows. Bend the knees a little. Give a bit of a wiggle. See if you can get the belly a little further down the thighs. And then choose beautiful stillness or a sway from side to side. Either way, allowing the head to be super heavy as the spine decompresses and the mind seems to follow. Let go. One more breath in here, maybe a little lift. With the exhale, release the elbows. Right hand to left ankle. As you inhale, draw the left elbow or hand up into the sky, another twist. And with the exhale, fold. Sweep the left fingertips over to clasp the right ankle. As you inhale, lift the right elbow or straight arm upward. With the exhale, bow. Bend the knees now. Use a full inhale to roll up to stand. Circle the wrists as you rise. With the exhale, roll your shoulders back in the sockets. Now you can take a few shoulder rolls if it feels good. Both shoulders moving together, or one at a time, more 80s dance style. And you're welcome to keep doing what you're doing, to find stillness, or to put the pressure into your toes, softness in the knees, and begin to shake the hands, letting the wrists be wild, the fingers fling freely, as if releasing any energy that you don't need to carry on from this point. Now you might gently start to turn from right to left as you do. A softness in the knees, that flinging of the hands might bring a little release to the shoulder girdles as well. Now maybe you take it a little further, throwing the gaze over one shoulder and then the other, letting go a bit more. You might even start to fling one arm or both to the sky. Just letting go, letting yourself find a little bit of extra space. Just by moving wildly, for one more inhalation. With your exhale, pause in Tadasana. Drop your eyes closed if you'd like. Awareness straight to the palms of the hands. An extension of the heart chakra. Any tingling, any sensations flowing from the palms up the arms, through the shoulders, straight into the heart. Breathe in. With the exhale, let go of any clenching in the jaw, any gripping in the shoulders and the glutes. Press into the heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. With an inhale, slowly reach the arms up overhead. 
you can feel the hands getting closer together before they actually unite. The exhale, draw them all the way down past the head to the heart, where we'll pause for one big breath in. The exhale, send the arms out to the sides, parallel with the earth. Reach through the fingertips, flip the palms up. And with the inhale, reach up. Interlace all the fingers, draw the hands down to cradle the head. Thumbs dipped on the neck in support. Stay. Or with the exhale, lean the head back into the hands. You might open the eyes if they're closed for stability. If you've leaned back with the inhale, straighten up. Elbows open as wide as feels good. With the exhale, hinge to your right. So the head is fully resting in the right hand, next supported. Inhale to straighten up, fully realign, lift the head a little higher. And with the exhale, hinge to the left. Inhale to straighten up. Reach up, palms meet, and then elbows bend, little tricep release. Inhale, and you can press the back of the head into the arms. With the exhale, flip your prayer around to the front, and follow it all the way down into Uttanasana. Hands can go to the shins or to the earth. As you inhale, lift halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. With the exhale, walk yourself back out into downward facing dog. Let it be a strut, leaning from right hand to left, right foot to left. As you inhale, lift onto your toes. Exhaling, heels drop to the right. Knees can bend if you'd like. Left arm can lift if you want. Inhale for down dog, right leg to the sky. Exhaling, knee bends, hip opens. One breath, one big circle of the right knee, mobilizing the hip. With the exhale, sweep the bent right knee beneath you toward the left elbow, twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, right toes high. Exhale, we'll step the right foot up between the hands this time. Breathe in, and with the exhale, straighten the right knee in your mount into pyramid pose. You can flex the left toes, if, the right toes if it feels good, and you can stay. Or with the inhale, rebend the right knee. You can stay. Or with the exhale, draw the hips back into another pyramid. One more round. Inhale forward if you're moving. Exhale, back if you're still on the cruise. Inhale, right knee bends. Both arms reach up into crescent lunge. Then with the exhale, cactus the elbows in. Inhale, bring the hands to the heart. And with the exhale, press open, warrior two. Big breath in, adjust your stance if you need. And with the exhale, flip that right palm. Inhale for reverse warrior. Left hand to the back of the left leg, right fingers overhead. Exhale, and we'll cartwheel the hands down to surround the right. As you inhale, just step into downward facing dog. Open up your mouth, let the exhale go. And inhale up onto your toes. With the exhale, drop the heels to the left. Bend the knees if you'd like, lift the right arm if you want. And with your inhale, down dog, left leg lift. Exhale, the knee bends, hip opens. And inhale to trace a big circle with that left knee. 
and an exhale to take a twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, press into the hands, let the head go heavy. With the exhale, big step of the left foot forward. Pause for a breath in, get your grounding, press into your fingertips. With the exhale, left knee straightens, toes can lift for your pyramid. Inhale, you can re-bend the left knee if you're moving with me. Really press into the back toes. And with the exhale, we'll pull back. Now the tiniest sway right to left or front to back can make a huge effect. Experiment a little for one more round of breath. And with your next inhale, crescent lunge. With the exhale, cactus elbows, angel wings. Inhale, we'll squeeze the hands together in Anjali Mudra. With the exhale, we'll press them out into Virabhadrasana two. One inhale. One exhale to flip the front palm. And an inhale to reverse warrior, big opening to the left side. With the exhale, cartwheel the hands down to surround the left foot. And as you inhale, step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Lift the heart. And with the exhale, let it melt down over the legs. And inhale to roll up to stand. Give a shimmy of the shoulders. Listen up a little. And with the exhale, roll the shoulders back. In Tadasana, take a deep breath in through your nose. If you'd like, let this one out through your mouth. And with your inhale, reach up. Again, interlace all the fingers, but this time, flip the palms to face the sky. Press through the thumbs. As you exhale, send the palms to the right, hips to the left. Inhale to straighten up, realign. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift. Flip the palms together if you'd like, bend the elbows. And with the exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, spine lengthens. With the exhale, let's step the left foot back. And with the inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg all the way up into a three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hips, stay. Or you can lift the right hand to hover or flip all the way over for one big breath in. With the exhale, come back through down dog if you flipped. Draw the right knee toward the nose and turbo plank, shoulders over wrist. Inhale to your three-legged dog. Exhaling, step the right foot forward. Pause for a breath in. Exhale and we'll straighten the right knee, pyramid pose. Inhale and you'll rebend it. Arms up to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Exhaling, elbows bend, heart lifts. Inhale, hands come together and heart center. Exhale, warrior two, as if you were pressing the breath away. Inhale, adjust or soften if you'd like. And with the exhale, gaze forward, flip that palm in your line of vision. Inhale for your reverse warrior. Exhale, hands cartwheel down to surround the right foot. Slide the right foot back to meet left and down dog. And inhale, left leg rises. Exhaling, knee bends, hip opens, stay or flip. Breathe in. Exhale, this turbo plank, left knee toward the nose. 
Inhale to your three-legged dog, pressing from fingers to toes in the sky. With the exhale, step forward. Inhale, you might get a little lift of the heart. And with the exhale, draw the hips back, let the head drop low, pyramid pose. Inhale, left knee bends, arms reach up, panjane. With the exhale, as you cactus your elbows, you might shine the heart up a little higher. And inhale to gather the hands to the heart. And an exhale to press them out into Virabhadrasana two. Breathe in, breathe out, flip the left palm. Inhale for reverse warrior. Exhale in the hands, surround the left foot. Let's lower straight into pigeon pose. Now, if this is too much for your hip or your knee, you're welcome to take it on your back, to bend the back knee or to come out of it all together. But if it's feeling okay today, I encourage you to use the tucked under back toes to walk that whole leg a little further back. With an inhale, if you'd like to join me, lift up a little higher. And with an exhale, Lower about halfway down. As the lungs deflate, drop your chin to your chest. With an inhale, be peeled upright, even higher, really lengthening all the way up the front of the body. You can stay, or with the exhale, lower a little further. Maybe down onto the forearms or all the way onto your belly. And at the bottom, do you choose <clears throat> stillness or some motion? Gentle sway, side to side. Feel free to experiment. Maybe the right hand reaches back for the right foot. Maybe you twist. Or maybe you just close the eyes and focus on this next inhalation. And then the exhale. One more round. Plant the palms on the mat. And with an inhale, walk yourself up. As you exhale, lean to the left. Use the right hand to help bring that right leg forward. Bend the knee, unite the soles of the feet in Baddha Konasana. Take a little wobble from right to left as you use the thumbs to massage from the heels toward the toes. And with an inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhaling, follow the gaze along the ceiling, down the wall, cross the earth to the toes. Stay low, or with your inhale, peel yourself all the way back up. Spine aligns, the gaze lifts. And with an exhale, if you've risen, you can lower back down just this once more. Press the baby toe blades of the feet together firmly and with the inhale, let's all rise up together. As you exhale, lean onto the right hip. Send the left leg back for pigeon other side. Now you can cruise through the same routine you did first round, but chances are this side feels a lot different than the first. So cater to that. Appeal to what's going on right now. 
Take a twist if you want. And then if you're coming along, an inhale lifts you up a little higher. The exhale cushions your descent halfway down. A little pressure into the fingertips. And then an inhale to rise back up. Or you can stay. Or you can let the exhale carry you all the way down. All the way down, being super relative. Depending where you are, what you need. And what's going on in your hips? Flexors, psoas, the glutes, the quads. Breathe in. And let it all out. One more inhale. With the exhale, the hands find the mat. And inhale to walk yourself upright. And an exhale to lean to the right. Left hand helps that left knee forward. This time plant the foot. Bring the right to match. And as you exhale, round the spine. Hands grip the shin. Inhale. And we'll lift up just another cow variation. Roll the shoulders back. And with the exhale, curl. This time all the way down onto your back. Use the hands for support as the back of the head meets the earth. Extend the arms up alongside it. Inhaling, we'll shift the hips toward the right edge of the mat. As you exhale, let your knees gently fall to the left. Doesn't matter how far. Breathe in. And out. One more. Maybe you turn your head right to left, just gently, just a little. Massage for the back of the skull. With your next inhale, the knees point up. The hips slide through the center, over toward the left edge of the mat. And with the exhale, the knees tip to the right. Breathing in, see if you can let the hands soften. Breathing out, let the elbows go, let the shoulders melt. One more round of breath. Maybe you can loosen any gripping in the feet and the toes. With your next inhale, the knees point up. The hips center up. As you exhale, you can either let the knees knock together, heels spin out toward the sides of the mat, or you can straighten the legs for a traditional shavasana. Take a breath in as you gently draw the chin toward the chest to lengthen the neck. With the exhale, Slide the elbows in toward the sides, so you're in that cactus shape. Inhale. Oh, bring the left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. If you're comfortable, stay. If you'd rather straighten the arms out alongside the body on your exhale, go for it. The eyes flutter closed if that's comfortable as the next inhalation seems to roll through the crown, loosening the eyes in the sockets, tongue in the mouth. Let your jaw drop open, sigh the exhale away, the cervical vertebrae in the neck release, the shoulders let go a little more. 
and inhale fills the heart. The whole rib cage, the outermost layers of you. Through parted lips, blow the exhale away. As if propelling effort out of the abdomen, out of the thoracic and lumbar spine, down into the sacrum where it's absorbed by the earth. And from the earth, the next nourishing inhale flows up into the pelvis, rolls through the hips. With your lips gently closed, the next exhale flows out through your nose. The quads release. The knees are at ease. Calves are soft, heels are heavy, feet are free. Now feel free to slowly invite some motion into your body. Fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. You might just tip on to your right side. Or you might first take a big long stretch, sliding the legs together out straight. Arms spiral up overhead, fingers can interlace, palms can flip the other way. And with an exhale, it might feel good to hug the knees into the chest to give a squeeze. And inhale, might send you rocking right to left. Let the next exhale take you onto your right side if you're not there. Just for one last breath, heart at the highest point, pumping freshly oxygenated blood through the body, love into the space around you. Let the next inhale inspire your ascent into a seated position. And with an exhale, roll your shoulders back. Flip your palms to face the sky. Thumb and forefinger unite. Now in chin mudra, signifying we're prepared to receive all that we need. Breathe in. Feel that upward influx of energy. Exhale, washes back down over you. Then inhale, reach up into space. Unite the palm. With the exhale, once more, squeeze the elbows in toward the sides. As you inhale, unite the palms at heart center. Exhale. Next inhale, the hands float from the heart to the head. With the exhale, the head just tips forward to rest against the thumbs. Loka, Samasta, Suki no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Gratitude, love, and light. Namaste.